Let's get rich, what? The G key finds the sugar dance, can't quit, what? Now pop the cork and see the Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom of the Recon standing by. Are you AP is all mine? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gorilla Frilla, and uh, I'm gonna come to you today with a tutorial on how to fix problems with your Dazzle, bad quality, and like, um, just lag and shit, and stuff like that. Um, sorry about that. Uh, right now, what you, what you need to do is you need to go to your setup. So I'm doing this commentary after I already recorded the video, which is probably a mistake because not to actually commentate what I've already done. But uh, here's the settings: go to Capture Source and then go to NTSC 16 by 9, no auto scene detection down there. And then yeah, Capture Format MPEG one half, uh, high quality DVD. Takes care of all the settings. All right, you don't need to mess around with these settings down here because the high quality DVD takes care of them. You can probably find better settings out there, but um. This one, this gets the job done. It gets the job done for me. If you want to find better settings, like mess around with these, go ahead and do it. And uh, you can tell me those settings and help me out. Under project preferences, check the bottom two, 242, 60 seconds, minimum chapter length, and then as the chapter should be created. Uh, check that top one, set from first clip added to project. And yeah, uncheck hardware acceleration make sure that's unchecked because I used to have problems with mine being super fast my videos came out super fast and so instead uncheck them and I did so I um I unchecked it and right here I'm just showing you that you need to keep a uh, chapter preview I know um, video preview unchecked uh, right here and at capture source capture source Main VJ monitor none right now um microphone doesn't really matter what your microphone is but um yeah those settings don't matter that much because you're not going to use your microphone through Pinnacle Studio 12 so not entirely important don't really worry about those um for your background rendering though uh, enable background rendering and use this keto codec for background rendering MPEG2 um best for output to disk so make sure make sure you got that going for you and then um yeah that pretty much everything you need to need need to know for the Pinnacle Studio 12 and now let's open up Sony Vegas so I already have a clip in here so I need to get that out real quick cut and um just hit new at the at the top hold on one second there you go no I don't want to save changes but uh 120 or 1280 by 720 non-progressive scan uh, 0 0.9091 NTSC DV uh, 0 degrees original that's just so your video doesn't come out sideways or upside down or some crazy stuff uh, 24 uh, film it's a preset uh, if you click down see right there it's film it's, make sure you hit that one 8 bit best Gaussian 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 I don't know how to say that uh, deinterlace method is none and then for pre-rendered file folders you want um, you want wherever you click open about file you want um, that's where your videos are gonna be wherever you save your videos make it right there right so then so then it's just it just makes it easier access you know let's move on to audio stereo for master I don't know, master bus mode. I think that says I can't read it that well in here. Um, zero, 44, 100, 16 bit depth, and good. All good. Uh, right there, it's SMPTE, I think. Drop. Uh, 29.97 feet per second videos, uh, shitload of zeros, and 120 for beats per minute. Four beats for measure and quarter, quarter pounder with cheese. Um, one, just one. That's what it is. And right here, just open up a clip, and um, 
I just wanted to show you how to get my how I get my clips ready. It's um I'm not gonna play the video through just because it's gonna lag a lot if I do it'll get all messed up and it's gonna be all ugly and everything. But um if you want to get rid of these black bars all around the video that you can probably see, you hit un you uncheck mess uh you right click the video and then you uncheck maintain aspect ratio like you saw me do. Then over here, um, make sure right there is unchecked maintain aspect ratio. And then you want to drag it in so the black bars are gone. And then when you do that, you can just save a preset by highlighting right there, typing in whatever you want, and um, just save it. Click the floppy disk. Uh, you only got to click it once. I clicked it a thousand times because I felt like it, and I can. And so when your video is like that with the black bars, you simply just go down to your preset. See it right there? Click on it. There you go. It does all the work for you. So you only have to do it once, then you'll never have to do it again. Or you'll have to do it again, and you're just going to have to click on your preset, though. It's very simple. If you want to spice up the coloring of your video, then go over to Color Curves, and then drag Reset to None onto your video and then you move these until you find what you like and uh... just moving around eh, eh, it's good enough right there it's decent I guess and then right here preview auto just makes it it dumbs down the quality so it makes Sony Vegas player videos smooth if you want to see what it looks like 100% like what it will actually look like I'm just clicking through the frames right here go to best and full and that's what it shows. There's a little bit of motion blur on it, but the preview auto takes out the motion blur. Doesn't change anything to what your video is going to come out to. Just change it to how you're previewing it. So that's just messing with the preview settings. Doesn't change your video at all. Just how you want to view it. Here we go. Project best audio. These are render settings, by the way. Uh, CRB Windows Media Audio 9 or 11. If you have Vista or the other one, the fancy pantsy schmancy one, then you do video, I mean Windows Media Audio 11. I have 9 because, you know, my, my computer just can't afford 11, dude. It's just, it's a broke computer, I guess. Um, 128kbp, uh, 44khz stereo AV for the video, CBR again for mode, format, MMV, uh, WMV9, high definition, right here, the square, one. You know, this is very easy stuff. Just copy what I'm doing. If you need to slow down, then, um, you know, just pause the video, look at all these settings, and click it. But uh, 85 sharpest bit rate, internet LAN, 3M, and then, yeah. Index summary, nothing checked or nothing done there. Then just name it whatever you want to name it. And also in the location you want to be saved. And in mine Ola. And then you just run and then you just save it. And then that's where it's gonna render out. And uh you have a beautiful video when you're done. But uh, hopefully this helped everyone out to having their dazzle problems. Um this is Grill Filla, check out my channel, peace.